Yo this is Lex and this is a guide on support necromancer. In this video I will be going over the support builds used in speed farm metas. The most common groups are with singularity mage necromancers or virgin total wizards. First I'll be going over the support build for singularity mage necromancers, also referred to as rats. The starter version of this build has more defense to make it easier to learn. Pestilence gloves and shoulders provide extra lances that work with brittle touch. Oculus ring and strong arm bracers also give your damage dealers more damage. Messerschmitt's Reaver, Leoric's Crown, Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac, Captain Crimson's Pants, and Waiters provide cooldown reduction. Aquila Chest, Dainty's Binding, and Storm Shield provide defense. The Flavor of Time and Nemesis Bracers are for touching pylons. Briggs Wrath activates strong arm bracers and groups enemies. Some people use Halcyon's Amulet instead, but it only works when activating Land of the Dead and stops enemies from moving. As for the weapon, some people use Ingeome, but I prefer Echoing Fury. This will give 75% attack speed and 25% move speed. The legendary gems used are Gogok of Swiftness, Ice Blink, and Esoteric Alteration. For stats, prioritize getting as much attack speed and cooldown reduction as possible. Check the D3 Planner link below for all the details. For Paragon Points, get enough Vitality for about 1.5 to 2 million health, and put the remaining points into Intelligence. Moving on to skills, Aura of Frailty effectively reduces monster health. It works with Briggs Wrath to activate strong arm bracers and also activates Dainty's Binding. Devour Cannibalize activates life from death to spawn health lobes and heals you. Death Blood Nova activates Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac and Blood is Power to cool down Land of the Dead Frozen Lands. This skill will allow you to spam Devour. It also freezes enemies to keep your team alive. Corpse Lance Brittle Touch increases your damage dealer's chance to crit. Blood Rush Metabolism is for movement and activates Blood is Power. Eternal Torment keeps your frailty curse active forever. And Final Service because dying sucks. The Advanced Support build for Rats drops defense for faster movement. You'll need to move fast and lead the group so you can freeze all the enemies. This build gains Stuart Greaves, Lost Time, and Fueled by Death to move quickly. The Esoteric Gem can be changed to Toxin if you can still survive. Death Nova can be switched to Command Skeleton's Enforcer. This skill can be spammed at the same time as Corpse Lance, unlike Death Nova. Let's move on to the starter support build for Veochan Total Wizards. The only differences from the starter rat support build are Shallow Graves instead of Frozen Lands, and Wrath from a Shield instead of Life from Death. Veo Wizards don't need Health Globes or Frozen Enemies to survive. Not having enemies frozen will make it harder for you to survive, so the advanced build keeps Dainty's Binding and Storm Shield. Just like the advanced rat support build, this build uses the Toxin Gem, Command Skeletons, and Feud by Death. Let's just jump into some greater riffs. The first run is with Rat Necromancers. Make sure Land of the Dead is active to freeze enemies. Hold down Devour to spawn health globes, and hold down Command Skeletons to cool down Land of the Dead. Holding down Corpse Lance or left click will break Devour and Command Skeletons, so only tap these skills. I bind Corpse Lance to my mouse wheel to make it easier to spam. This is how I play without using macros or other programs. Touch Power Pylons right away. Focus your Corpse Lance on Elites so they die faster. Run one screen ahead of your team until you get to an Elite. Only run past enemies if Land of the Dead is active to freeze them. It will keep your team alive. Don't get too far ahead of your team as enemies will only be frozen for 10 seconds. Wait for your team to enter the map before touching pylons. Don't touch pylons right away if there are too many elites and your damage dealers take a while to kill. Be careful standing next to electrified elites. Enemies only need to be in your aura of rarity once to be cursed forever. If you're using Blood Nova instead, you need to alternate between cooling down Land of the Dead and adding crit chance with Corpse Lance. Shooting can be touched right away. The boss is easy to focus with Corpse Lances. Next let's look at a run with Virchan Total Wizards. These damage dealers need to ramp up at first, so wait at the first group of enemies. You can use blue circles at the beginning to help cool down Land of the Dead. Compared to rat runs, these runs tend to be at a higher level, but at a slower pace. You don't freeze enemies in this setup, so you don't need to run ahead of the group. You'll get hit more often. Casting Land of the Dead will activate Rathma Shield, making you immune to damage for 4 seconds.
All pylons can be touched right away since the wizards can hit everything at once. Some wizards prefer to kill groups of trash to gain Archon stacks. You can stop the Corpse Lance enemies along the way. Channeling Pylon will allow you to constantly cast Land of the Dead and keep Rothma's shield active. Please like the video if it helped, subscribe for more content, and feel free to stop by the live stream if you have any questions or comments. Happy slaying.